Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you how I make my buttermilk sweet cornbread. And this is so you can ditch. When I say ditch, I mean ditch the Jiffy Box. And I am a Jiffy girl. I love Jiffy cornmeal, cornbread as well. But I also like to make it myself. And I wanna share with y'all how I make that. So this is all the ingredients right here. And I am going to be leaving everything below. And I'm going to more than likely voice over this because it'll be better for me to do so. Um, yeah, it's a quick and easy recipe. All right, let's get into the video to make it fast so we're not doing too much. You want to start off by preheating your oven to 350. So we got that at 350 and it's going to heat up for us. Remember, all ingredients will be below in the description box. All ingredients will be below in the description box. You want to start off by adding all of your dry ingredients and I will later have to change the bowl because I thought I would be able to mix it all in there. So you want to get all the dry ingredients together and incorporate them very well together and that's what I'm doing here. And the bigger bowl did make life a little bit easier. So I'm going to continue blending that together. And that is our first step. All right, guys, the next step is to mix all of your wet ingredients. It does not matter what order. Just make sure you mix them well. And as you see, I had two eggs that looked like they were already beaten inside of a bowl. That's what you're going to do. And I'm going to make sure I leave that in the description box. Make sure you beat those eggs before you put all this together. And now you're going to put all this in a bowl and whisk, 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 whisk. That's all you're going to do is whisk, whisk, whisk. And then it's time to move on to the next step. It is now time to add the dry to the wet, guys. Yes. And that is how you make this batter. Okay, let's ditch this whisk. It's not going to work. Let's get me a spumula and mix this up really well, really well. And then after we mix it up, it is time to put it in our pan. So let's mix and let's move forward to the next step, guys. And look at that batter. It looks so good. And guess what? It tastes so good. And I want y'all to leave below how your family enjoyed this. You can make this anytime. But if you really, really want to lay it on them, those special occasions like Christmas or Thanksgiving or when you have to bring a side or something, hit them with this cornbread. Or you can make them into muffins. But now, let's go ahead over to our pan. Now that your mix is ready, you want to get a prepared pan. And what I like to do is something old school. Take a chunk of butter and then I place this in the oven to let it melt. All right, so the butter is melted, and I'm going to just take my little basting brush and make sure I get butter all over so the pan is nice and hot. And the butter from the bottom is going to rise around the sides as well. I'm telling y'all, your family is going to love this and you buy a bag of cornmeal from the store, what, about two bucks, and then the buttermilk and the eggs, stuff that you should already have. It's not like you should have to go out and buy all the stuff for this. You can make your own cornbread from scratch. So let's get this inside this pan. And you are going to bake this until you kind of stick a fork in it and it comes out clean, just as if you were baking any other baked items. You don't want it to have any batter on your toothpick, fork, or whatever you decide to test it with. Yep, so we're gonna put this in the oven. So be right back. Just the FYI, for those that don't really like sweet things or sweet cornbread, you can omit the sugar, but do not omit the honey. So if you decide to omit the sugar, just add four tablespoons of honey, which is a different sweetener, but you do not want to omit the honey. I promise you it will still be tasty, but not as sweet. Okay, time to put it in the oven. just came out the oven and so you definitely want it to cool but I'm going to cut into this bad boy so you guys can see what the inside look like and we're just gonna do some regular squares so I can show y'all this cornbread and here we have it do you guys see that yes god oh my gosh do y'all see that cornbread from scratch I don't know nothing about that. Now you can put some butter on it or whatever, but that is my sweet southern cornbread and you can ditch the Jiffy Box after you get this recipe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
make sure you like comment and if you have any questions leave them below if you are not a reviver make sure you subscribe to the channel to become a part of my family and i will see you guys later gators